PS4 News Flash! It's not that serious, bro! What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Monkey Flop here, and today I got your PlayStation 4 News Flash! Now, thank you guys so much for the continuous support. It's been pretty cool to see, like, uploads do pretty well on the weekend. In yesterday's uh, upload, you guys hit it out of the parks with the likes and the comments. So, thank you guys so much for the support. Let's go ahead and get right into it because we have some more teases from Gearbox Studios. They're going to be attending PAX, and well, the rumor and speculation has it to be that there's a certain game that ends with a 3 that might be released, or at least talked about during PAX East. They've definitely had a lot of fun on social media, which led people to believe, you know what, are they really going to be announcing the next game? The game that everybody's been talking about and everybody's been waiting for, um, redacted. Uh, but, you know, other people are actually saying, you know what? They might just be like pulling our leg. They might just be having fun and trolling us on Twitter. And I wanted to pass the question off to you. Do you guys think that they are going to be releasing or at least announcing Borderlands 3 or are they going to be just uh, talking about the latest games that we saw yesterday's with yesterday's tweet? They actually tweeted out a picture of Duke Nukem and the dude from Bulletstorm. So a lot of people are speculating, oh man, there's going to be a new game with Bulletstorm. There's going to be a new Duke Nukem. And then other people are speculating that they're just going to port those games over to the Switch. Of course, PAX is just around the corner so we'll have to wait and see exactly what they get up their sleeves and what kind of uh mysterious mischief they're up to because you know even if i knew i actually wanted to talk about the division 2. now a lot of people were honestly excited about the division 2 but the weekend sales the launch weekend was not that great for them. In fact, they are actually reporting an all-time low um, <laughs> compared to other AAA titles, which is absolutely insane. Have you picked up The Division 2? Are you currently playing it? I'd love to know in the comments down below. I've heard that, you know, it's kind of hard to play with friends and even news outlets and websites are doing like tutorials on how to connect and play with friends. Very interesting to say the least, but I'd love to know your guys' feedback because I have not played The Division 2 yet, so um, should I? Should I even bother? I mean, with the sales being the way it was and that being disappointing, uh, you know, it kind of feels like <laughs> the past couple, well, ever since 2019, well, maybe February, I guess, we haven't had that good of uh, video game releases. I mean, look at Anthem. Ooh. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the next story because it's a juicy one. All right, next up, it looks like Sega wants your feedback on some of the longest running titles that they currently have. They tweeted out a poll, and I'll link it to you guys in the video description in case you guys wanted to go and take a gander at it. Maybe vote for yourself and give your opinions on some of the games, such as like Sonic the Hedgehog, which they're currently in development for. If you guys saw my previous video, then you would know about that. But really quickly, did want to mention Sega is listening. Really weird to say, but Sega's listening and they want your feedback. <laughs> so, link is in the video description. Please check that out after this video. Battlefield 5's Battle Royale mode is almost here and they have a trailer coming for us March 25th. Now, the map actually is reportedly five times bigger than any map that they currently have on Battlefield 5. If you guys are familiar with Battlefield 5, then you would probably know that Battlefield 5 is a big game. Usually and typically the maps designed for Battlefield are typically longer than your average first person shooter. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out. Firestorm official first trailer releases on March 25th. Are you guys gonna be paying attention to that? I think I might just get back on Battlefield 5 just to check out what new DLC is available. Um, but I'd love to know, are you guys currently playing Battlefield 5? Do you guys even care about the game anymore? Kind of seems like nobody's really talking about it lately, so I'd love to know your guys' thoughts in that 
on the comment section below. Next up, I actually wanted to talk about the PlayStation 5 and Xbox 2, Scarlet, whatever the hell it's going to be called. Um, I wanted to talk about their competitor because Google is set to announce their console very, very soon. We've seen a lot of rumor and speculation about Google's new console. If you guys aren't familiar, yes, Google is designing a video game console that is set to release sometime either this year or next year. And it looks like it's going to be a streaming device of some sorts. It's definitely interesting. Um, now, we do know that Google has had their hand and still has their hands in a lot of different video games outside of, like, consoles. Um, and with this new Google console, they pulled a lot of industry veterans um, to help create design the next uh, console for them. Sometimes you can't actually trust whether or not it's an actual leak or if the uh, the company actually designed the leaks. You know, with the video game industry, it, it's a very blurry line when it comes to leaks because sometimes they are leaked unofficially but uh, designed it in a way, um, you know, the company wants this information to, to get out there. So um, sometimes what video game companies do is they leak the information out to somebody and then, um, then it kind of like blows up from there as opposed to just a general announcement of the game. So kind of helps build hype around it. Uh, honestly, sometimes leaks happen and they really suck for companies because um, we've seen in the past, especially last year's E3, where companies work so hard to keep a secret and then uh, somebody goes and spoils it. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about leaks in the comment section below, but then also, what do you guys think about this new Google console? Are you guys on board with it? Um, you know, if it is a streaming only device, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, kind of up in arms. I'm gonna put a poll above this video. Please go and vote on the poll. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts on it. Um, you can always come back to the poll later on and check to kind of see uh, where the poll's at and what people are thinking. You know, um, is Google's new console a yay or a nay? Next up, we get Days Gone. Now, everybody's absolutely losing their poop right now. They're, they're actually going crazy over the fact that Days Gone has a photo mode. And I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about that in the comments section below you know a photo mode in a video game is very very awesome and in my opinion is well needed for a lot of games that we see especially single player games and i mean who doesn't want to take a picture or a selfie with one of those freaks i mean come on that is freaking awesome all right now let's talk about a playstation 4 exclusive that kind of disappeared to be honest with you back in 2014 we saw an announcement of wild after that we really hadn't seen anything in 2015 uh, was the last time we actually heard about the title 2017 uh, we saw a resurface of some information about it but since then um, you know, a lot of people actually honestly forgot about the game Wild and um, the fact that it was going to be a pretty cool PlayStation 4 exclusive. Well, it turns out that Sony has filed a new trademark for Wild and we could be getting or at least seeing some more information about this game and wow, wow, like since 2014, we really haven't heard anything about it. The developers were working on Beyond Two Souls, and since then, you know, they were working on other projects, and, you know, they were really quiet about it for so long. A lot of people thought, you know, this game is just never going to come out. It's one of those that gut pitch was a great idea, maybe was even in development, and then kind of just got dusted off, but... It looks like with Sony's new trademark that we could be seeing more of Wild. Now, if this game actually does come out, or at least some more information about it, would you guys be interested? Would you guys be curious about another PlayStation 4 exclusive? Let me know in those comments section below. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for the continuous support, hitting that like button. You guys have been destroying that like button, so thank you guys so much. If you guys are new, please, please, please sub subscribe. I can't even speak anymore, but subscribe and make sure you hit the bell notification so that way you guys don't miss any of the latest and greatest in PlayStation news. Oh yeah, I, I got some new lights in the background. Hopefully, you know, it's not too distracting and stuff. I kind of uh, set it to an auto mode, but um, let me know what you guys think about that as well in the comment section below. I'm always up for, you know, discussion. I'm always trying to improve this here. So thank you guys so much for watching PS4 News Flash. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.